Hey guys, welcome to another Monday with Deco Art. So, this is the back of my denim jacket. I actually wear this jacket a lot. And I did this years ago, um, and I did the design with what I had on hand. I never intended for this jacket to really be washed, um, more than spot washed or dry cleaned. So I wasn't too worried about what I grabbed and if it was waterproof or not, meant for fabric or not. Some parts are a little bit crunchy and it's just acrylic paint. The piece symbol and the flower were done with a gel, a bleach gel pen. And I used what random paints I, and stencils I had. I did some writing on here with black Sharpie and um, just had a lot of fun with it. This is one of my favorite jackets. I wear it a lot. And the FYI, little known fact, I collect like cute little buttons or buttons with snarky comments <laughs> and I have a few one of them says art junkie it isn't a bad mood it's my personality get used to it <laughs> I love that so anyway I have and I got the jacket at Goodwill um, quite a while ago I of course washed it before I did it you could do the project that we're gonna do with a jacket or a denim vest don't feel like you have to buy a new one go over to your local Goodwill and get one that fits you and then wash it before we get started Okay, so in this case, I have a denim vest. Um, if you've got a jacket and you want to have a vest, just use a seam ripper or some scissors and take the sleeves off. But I have this denim vest, and I want to dress it up like I did my jacket. I'm going to move some stuff out of my way. Uh, okay. I want to dress it up like I did my jacket, and I want to... Um, use my Andy Skinner stencils. Now in this case I'm still not going to completely use things that are intentionally meant for fabric. I am going to use all deco art products. Um, we're going to use Andy Skinner stencils. I have a bunch of so soft fabric paint and then I think we're going to use our glass paint pens. They're not really meant for fabric but we're going to use them anyway. Um, so okay, so let's per first pick our stencils, and I'm gonna I'm gonna film something in a minute with these stencils that kind of drive me crazy because they're not marked. Andy, they're not marked. <laughs> Would be nice if you had your the name and model number like etched into the stencil. Just like putting that out there. <laughs> okay, I like this one. Oh, that's collage paper. That doesn't go in there. Oh, I like this one. So I'm going to just pick the ones that I like. And I want to use a couple that I haven't actually used yet. I'm looking for them. Looking, looking, looking. No, no, no. Here we go. I want the skull. And I think the clock. All right. So let's get all our stencils open. And then pick some colors. to do the numbers on this clock I think in black. I have a palette plate here that I'm going to use and I've got some black so soft fabric paint. I need a stencil brush. You could just freeform this if that's what you want to do. Is there a seal on that? Oh no. Hold on. Put this in the center back, upper center back. Okay. 
Now, and this is just about, you know, like we did with the bag, this is about layering colors and marks on the jacket until you get something you really like. For me, it's not about precision or any of that. If I get precise um, designs from the stencils, cool. If I don't, that's fine too. I just want to have fun with it and have a jacket that's not plain and has some kind of design on the back. And as soon as I saw this vest, I knew, whoops, that I wanted to do something with the Andy Skinner skull on the back. Yeah, I like that. That is cool. The question is, do I want to do the skull in black and then do this one maybe on top of it in a color? Maybe. I think I want to do that. This um, DecoArt So Soft fabric paint is really easy to use. They have a bunch of really great colors. You just want to, you know, if you want a more precise design from your stencil, you want to just use very little paint. If you use too much paint, it's just going to come out gloppy. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. You could leave it at that and that would be very cool. We're not going to, but <laughs> would be very cool. I'm going to hang this up just so it's out of my way, but we're not done with it yet. All right. Let's get another color. You know I really want to put some turquoise on there, but do I want this one, which is, I don't know. Oh, Indian turquoise, or do I want this, which is ocean blue? Maybe I want both, because you know I love me my blues. I've got some green. Those would be pretty colors on there by themselves. Now, what's the difference between this one and this one? They just look like they're a different bottle. They look like the same thing. Do I want pink? I like these colors, so let's do something with these. We may put a little bit of pink on here, but let's do something with these. Do we have a word on here that would go? Maybe all the words. Sore. I like sore. All right, let's put some of these other colors on our palette first. I'll make sure to list the colors and the stencils in the description below. You can go to decoart.com and get um, them. Uh, you should also be able to find them at your lo local craft store. I actually think I'm going to add some cadmium yellow because I think that would be a nice addition to this palette of colors. All right, I'm going to get a couple more stencil brushes and I'm going to turn on some music and do some fast forwarding and I'll be right back.
guys, here is my finished vest. I really like the way it turned out. Um, I love I love the way the stencil design turned out. I did do a little bit of stenciling on one of the front pockets that you saw. I like to carry over, over a little bit of the color to the front somewhere. Not a lot, but I love this. And I love the Andy Skinner skull stencil. I think it's my favorite stencil of his. I love it. And I love it with the clock behind it. Does anybody get the meaning behind that? Because there is one. There isn't always in my artwork, but in this case there is. Time's a ticking. We're all going to be fleshless skulls before you know it. Life is not infinite. So do your creating and your soaring and your dreaming while you can. As my dad would say, while you're on the right side of the dirt, enjoy life. That's what this is about. And I hope you get it and I hope you like it. I, do, I know I do. So think about decorating some of your jackets and clothing with the Deco Art So Soft Fabric Paints. I love the bright, vibrant colors. And the glass paints did work on the denim. Um, not all the colors. Some of the colors are too um, translucent. But the white worked, the gold worked, and the black worked. Um, and if you don't plan on washing it, you could use spray paint, craft paint, whatever. If you plan on washing the garment or item in question, then you want to use fabric products. I'm going to let this dry completely, then I'm going to heat set it before I do anything else with it, and then I'm going to wear it and enjoy. You do the same. All my contact information is in the description below, including my P.O. box if you want to send me happy mail or whatever. Uh, questions, comments, and concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to go have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.